Hello and welcome back to my channel. So you want to learn how to do lowrider patterns, how to paint lowrider patterns. Stay tuned, let me show you. Hello and welcome back. So you want to learn how to do lowrider patterns. Perfect. This is a video. First of all, this is going to be the first video out of two videos. First one's going to be the preparation, the base that uh, you need to apply so that you can get that bling out of those patterns. All right. I got myself a blank sheet of metal right here. I'm going to leave on the description below all the materials that I'm using. So if you want to practice yourself, go right ahead. This is a blank sheet of metal. All I did, sand it down with 80 grit. Got myself some Bulldog uh, Adhesion Promoter, just applied two coats, that is it. This is just going to be for decorations, I don't need to put any any uh, direct metal primer or uh, self etching primer. This is just for decorations, it's not going to be in the, out on the weather, so that's perfect. Okay, next, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be applying a sealer. Okay, just to cover it up, just to give me a real nice uh, surface to start with. All right, so I don't know if you're noticing that I put some uh, sheeting plastic underneath. Reason being is that the metal flake goes everywhere, guys. It's a real nice recommendation to do this because you're gonna just, uh, you're gonna have metal flakes stuck everywhere. So this is a rare, uh, real nice thing to do in order for you to just capture everything that's gonna be falling down. Uh, that's one of the things about making lowrider patterns that it's a, uh, the metal flake, the base, it's it's messy. You're going to see right now. I'm going to show you. Uh, but this is why I have the sheeting on the floor. All right. Let me just start applying the, the sealer. And uh, so I can show you how to mix a metal flake, how to reduce it, how to do everything. All right. All right, sealer has been applied. We're good to go. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes so that I can start applying the base. The gun I'm using is the Italco Mini Shine from um, Italco. So that's the gun I'm using. All right, let's uh, just wait those 15 minutes. Come back, apply the base. Okay, the base I'm gonna be using, it's uh, called Liquid Diamond. It's a silver base. It's from Grand 7, but it's a silver base. You can apply a silver base. The reason I'm doing that is because in the lowrider patterns, the way I like to do them, you can do them any way you want to, but the, the way I like to do them is apply silver base and silver metal flake. Why? Because I'm going to be using candies. I'm going to be using candies to do the patterns. Okay, and when I start applying the patterns, the can the metal flake is gonna pop through the candy okay that's the only reason it can, it looks a lot cleaner a lot better um, and you're gonna love it okay so let's just do this let me show you the way I do it there's a lot of different ways to do it but let me show you the way I do them and uh, so as you can see so as you can learn Okay, uh, I'm gonna apply like two more coats. Now, the reason I'm applying silver is because I'm applying silver metal flake. Okay, it's best to you for you if you're gonna apply a different color metal flake. It's best for you to get a base that's close to that color of the flake. Why? Because if the flake doesn't cover every single little thing on the panel, that color that you that base that you put on the bottom is gonna come through. And it's going to be a different color. It's best to get it as close as possible. Now, if you're not sure how to do it, paint it black. Paint it black and apply any color metal flake. That'll ensure that it'll you'll be able to see where it's covered. Okay? 
That's uh, but silver. It's one of the best ways to do it. That's the reason I'm doing silver. Okay, I got my three coats of the liquid diamond, the silver. Now here comes the interesting part. Everything else has been basic. You're just painting it. Here comes the interesting part. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to mix the metal flake. I'm gonna be mixing it with Intercoat Clear. Okay, why Intercoat Clear? Intercoat Clear, guys, it's for you to mix candies, for you to mix metal flake, for you to mix uh, pearls, everything. Okay, reason being that a lot of uh, custom painters use inner coat clear is because with the inner coat clear, you can do it dries like if it was paint. Okay, and you can tape, you can use tape right on top of it. You can tape out your designs and everything. With a clear coat, you can also use clear coat to apply the metal flake. But with clear coat, it's going to take a long time for it to dry. And you're not going to be able to tape up the lines or anything. You're going to peel that clear coat right off. That's one of the main reasons that the custom painters use inner coat clear. Because it dries like paint. You can start taping everything up. Uh, after 15, 20 minutes, you can start taping designs, start taping everything. That's the reason they use it. Okay. So this is just mixed. Uh, it says right here, this is just mixed two to one, which is two parts of the inner coat clear, one part of the reducer. That's it. it. Does not use catalyst or hardener, activator, whatever you want to call it. It does not use that. That's the reason it dries up like paint. Let me mix it up. Let me put the camera right here so that you can see it. And uh, I'll show you. These are the flakes I'm going to be using. This one's from Dit Spade. And this is. 0 0.008 flake. I'm also going to be using some Grand 7 flake, which is also 0 0.008. Okay, I was going to use some Lime Line uh, Crush Glass, but I'm going to use this for a different video. I'm going to do something different with this one. But all these companies, Lime Line, Grand 7, Dead Spade, all of these companies, I'm going to leave the description below, they have a tremendous amount of uh, metal flakes, pearls, candies, everything. Well, not the not the spade, but Grand Seven does have candies, and Lime Line does not have candies, but it does have a lot of different uh, metal flakes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all that information in the description below, guys. Let me start mixing it. Let me show you how much I'm gonna mix, and when I'm gonna stop uh, adding metal flake. There it is, I mixed it two to one. I look for the number two. This is the amount I need up to the three. And I look for the number one and I added the one on reducer. That's it, okay? Now, all I gotta do is just mix it up.
There it is. Now the way I know I have enough is on the mixing stick. When I pull this mi mixing stick out, I can see that it's going to cover completely. Now if you still see, let me show you, if you still see this, that you can still see the stick, you need to add some more. It ain't going to cover that much. I want it to cover completely, so there it is. Perfect. Let me pour it in the gun. Start the uh, start applying it. The gun I'm gonna be using is my Spectrum uh, Black Widow. It has a 1.7 tip. You need a 1.7 or higher in order for to shoot the metal flake. If not, you're gonna clog up the gun and it's not gonna work. So you need a 1.7 or higher in order to, to apply it. There it is, three coats. That is all it needs. I'm just gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes and uh, apply three coats of high solids clear to bury that flake. I need to bury it in order for me to sand it down. Okay, because you're gonna see right now that it's gonna be real uh, orange peely when I apply the, the clear. But that's what you need to do. This is the first part to creating uh, low rider graphics. Now, look at the floor. Look at everything that it happens when you do low rider patterns it came all the way over here all this now I gotta clean everything up when I'm gonna paint something else because any of these little metal flakes can land in the paint job and cause a problem for the next customer so that's one of the reasons that low rider patterns graphics and all that cost a lot because of the mess they make there it is but it does give you a really really nice finish and uh, it defeats getting all this because you'll have a nice looking paint job all right let me just uh, let it dry for about 20 minutes come back look at this even in my hands let me let it dry for about 20 minutes come back start applying the three coats of clear this clear is just gonna be regular clear high solids clear and it's gonna be uh, just uh, laid on the gun I'm gonna be using for the just to clear it's gonna be the same one with a 1.7 tip I don't wanna get another gun in order just to shoot the clear so I'm just gonna keep on using this one just finish it off and uh, it's gonna come out nice anyways. there it is after three coats of clear that's gonna bury the flake now all I gotta do is wait a couple of days maybe one maybe two 
smooth it down, sand it down. That's going to be in the next video. And the designs. All right. This is the first part as to how to make lowrider patterns, how to create lowrider patterns. This is the base. This is the, the where you're going to start. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And uh, I'll see you in the next uh, weekend. All right. That's going to be the designs. The, the creation of the patterns. Thank you. Like always, God bless.